to the crash course of Note Expression Explain. Now I'm sure you have some questions like, how do I create sound? Or what muscles are being used to create these sounds? And how do I practice and be efficient in my playing? What do I practice on? Well, I'm going to answer all these questions with just my mouthpiece and my neck. Now we'll get to the rest of the notes later, but right now we're going to focus on the basics. So the first thing we're going to worry about is the lips. Let's worry about our lips. The lips are going to help us establish the two most important tones. The straight tone and the wavy tone. Now when doing the wavy tone or vibrato also known as you want to do slow waves and you want to practice in fast waves for long periods of time. So, and, well, why are these tones so important? They're going to help us establish our embouchure. We're going to work all the muscles so that way we can play the tone effectively and control the tone with all the techniques, all right? Now the next thing we're going to focus on is our diaphragm. The diaphragm is going to help us project so that way we can have fun getting loud and fluctuate, getting soft as well. So here we go. Next. The wavy tone. Now, we're going to talk about the tongue. Now, the tongue can be used to accent and also not accent it, all right? So, we can use the top of our tongue to flicker and create the triple tongue, like this. Use the tip of the tongue against the tip of the reed. Or we can roll the tongue against the roof of our mouth and not touch the mouthpiece at all. And all right. Or we can use the top of our tongue right here and go two, two, two. All right. So now, how to shape our tone without accenting? Now. Those people who know how to whistle like this, you have a step in the game. You're going to have some fun because it's the same muscles used to bend our notes. So when you're, if you focus right here, right here, you can see that the bottom of my tongue, this is my throat right here, this right here, this is the bottom of my tongue. I'm going to curl my tongue down, allowing more air in my mouth so that way I can bend my notes from a low pitch to a high pitch. So... Alright, now doing the opposite, I'm going to curl my tongue from up, down, to allow the notes to dip down in a fall motion. Alright, so... Now the throat is going to help us play smooth tones and rough tones. Now the smooth tones are going to come when we use our natural air. And the rough tones are going to come when we use our voice as we hum or we sing or we do a little, uh, little grunt. And that's going to distort the air enough to change the tone and make it raspy. So. So these are the muscles that you're going to use and some of the sounds that you can use with just one tone. Let's see how you can get creative and add two, three, or more tones. So have fun. 